Fox 2 News. News that works for you. Starts now. Also, there was a special day for a school in Detroit. An historical marker commemorating the long, long history of Detroit's Waldorf School. Fox 2's Camille Amiri has that story. Detroit Waldorf School at the corner of Burns and Charlevoix in Indian Village celebrating a big milestone. The school's been here for like 50 years, which is pretty cool, and the building is about 102 years old, which is cool too. The private school receiving its historic marker from the Michigan Historical Commission. Walk inside the school, originally built in 1913, and you feel like you've gone back in time. Bree Collum is a former student, her daughter now attending Detroit Waldorf. It's an amazing accomplishment. You hear in the news so often that schools are closing and children are being displaced and put into other schools. It's really heartwarming to know that there is a school that's been here for so long, nurturing so many children. The building was designed by legendary architect Albert Kahn. The school itself was founded by Amelia Wilhelm and her late husband back in 1966. I am delighted that we are still alive, we are still in Detroit, I'm still walking. I think it's really cool how, like, Amelia Wilhelm, who, I mean, has co-founded this school, it's really cool how she's still here and she comes to the walkathon too, which is super cool. Simone Shirney is a teacher at Detroit Waldorf. She's also a former student. It's really such a personal experience for me. Growing up, I feel like there was a lot of shame associated with living in the city. And to have this school withstand sort of the challenges and the turmoil of the city and to still just be this beautiful place where people can come together in community has been really, really important to me. At this school, I feel like our class is just a family. We're all connected. Whatever we have envisioned came true and more. In Detroit, Camille Amiri, Fox 2 News.